We're reading The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. We meet Hazel Grace, a teenager. Unfortunately, she's a little depressed. She has thyroid cancer, so her parents end up putting her into this support group. In the support group, we meet her friend Isaac, who has eye cancer, and this guy Augustus, who's Isaac's friend, who has this rare bone tumor. Isaac, Hazel, Augustus. Augustus and Hazel, they end up hitting it off, otherwise known as they pretty much fall in love. We learn that Hazel loves this book called An Imperial Affliction. Weird thing about this book is that it ends in the middle of a sentence, and the lead character also has cancer, which is kind of why Hazel's obsessed with it, but she's really obsessed with why does this book end in the middle of a sentence? She needs to know the ending of it, but the author's a recluse. She doesn't know how to track down the author. She gives the book over to Augustus. Augustus, he loves the book, but he's equally as confused as why does this book end in the middle of a sentence? So they really want to track down this author. Augustus ends up finding out that the author lives in Amsterdam, and they're going to go try to track down this author. Augustus says he's going to use his funds from a Make-A-Wish Foundation and send them to Amsterdam to track down this author. Hazel has issues with her supportive parents. Meanwhile, she does a Facebook stock, looking at Augustus's Facebook page, doesn't like what she sees. Unfortunately, Hazel gets sick, gets rushed to the ICU, they find out it's some fluid in her lungs, they thought it might have been something worse. She was in the hospital for a couple days, finds out that Augustus has been waiting for this entire time inside the waiting room. Augustus says, I really want to go to Amsterdam with you. But the doctors and her mom don't want Hazel to go to Amsterdam because they don't think it's good for her health. Meanwhile, Augustus says, I'm a virgin, to Hazel. Hazel's kind of thrown off. Hazel tells Isaac, who's unfortunately now going blind because of the cancer in his eye, that she doesn't want to sleep with Augustus because she doesn't want to hurt his feelings. However, in some depression, in some flirting, in some crazy moments, they end up getting the green light, going ahead, go to Amsterdam, and while they're on the flight going over to Amsterdam, Augustus tells Hazel that he's in love with her. They're in the Netherlands. Lots of flirting going on, but something's going on with Augustus. He's walking around, he's wincing in pain, Hazel can tell something's up. They end up tracking down this author. The author's just a complete and total dick. He doesn't really lead on. He doesn't tell him how an imperial affliction ends. Hazel and Augustus, they get nothing from him. However, they do end up having sex. Adios virginity. Augustus ends up opening up to Hazel and saying, my cancer has returned. Hazel is absolutely devastated. They end up returning home, meeting up with Isaac. They're all hanging out, but unfortunately, Augustus takes a turn for the worse. He gets rushed to the ER, and Hazel waits for him at the hospital. Oh man, this story's really starting to get dark. Hazel and Augustus, they're together daily, but Augustus is sick, and the sickness is driving them closer, and closer and closer, but things are starting to get really sad, and it is not looking good for Augustus. Augustus dies, and Hazel isn't there to witness it. She ends up finding out from a phone call. So at the funeral, she ends up seeing that dick author I mentioned a little bit earlier, which is kind of weird. She ends up meeting up with Isaac a little later. They're in mourning. Isaac ends up telling Hazel, like, hey, did you get those pages that Augustus was writing for you? And Hazel's like, what pages? What are you talking about? Hazel has no clue what pages Isaac's talking about. She, Isaac's like, he's writing something for you. So when she goes to find out what Augustus was writing, just try to figure out what the heck was going on, she ends up running into the author waiting for her. And the author is like, you know what? You remind me of my daughter. I wrote that book, Imperial Affliction, for my daughter. And it's tough for me to tell you. So there's some kind of closure in that sense. So Hazel, still on a mission, trying to find these pages that Augustus wrote, doesn't know where to look, doesn't know where to find, ends up turning out that. The assistant to the author ends up writing Hazel saying, hey, Augustus and the author were communicating because Augustus wanted help with your potential eulogy. Augustus thought maybe Hazel might die and he wanted to do justice in just in case she did die. So she ends up seeing the pages and reads the final thing that Augustus wrote to the author. You don't get to choose if you get hurt in this world, old man, but you do have some say in who hurts you. I like my choices. I hope she likes hers. Although you may already know what's inside of this book, you don't actually know what's inside of this book until you read it. So if you want to read this book or if you want to give it to someone else to read, just drop me an email. I will mail you this book, but you have to tell me why you want to read this book. You can say reading's fun and I want to read this book and I'll send it to you. I don't care. Drop me an email. Hopefully we'll figure someone else out to read this book. It'll be fun. It'll be great. It's a great book. Read it. It's fun. It's great. It's awesome. It's so much fun. Just read the book. <laughs>